It's the new style of Oklahoma Joe smoker where it's the dual both gas burner side, which I will tell you gets smoking hot quickly. And the smoker side, offset smoker. Uh, so far, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with the grill's performance. Real quick, I will show you how quickly this, I mean, I, I want to say it was 36,000 BTU. And when she fires up, watch this temperature rise, how quickly it rises. We'll let that go for a minute. Now the, the gauge isn't as heavy as the Oklahoma Joes from years ago uh, before Char Charbroil bought them. But I'd say the, it's adequate. Um, it's going to hold up well. I don't expect this to last forever. Um, the price that you pay for it, you're not getting a grill that's going to last forever. Uh, forgot about this. I'll never use it. Uh, it's on there. Um, if I need a burner, I'm actually going to go to a Bayou burner. Not that burner, but... So it's actually three parts. Uh, the grill that keeps on giving. Um... I have made some improvements to it, uh, sealed off the firebox with the glass rope, flat glass rope, having a little bit of trouble with getting the rope to seal properly to the grill. Uh, this seam wasn't leaking, but I went ahead and sealed it up anyhow. I don't mind the red color on it. Um, Holds the smoke pretty well. Let's go over and you can see that temperature now. It just rockets up. Matter of fact, you have to back it off quickly uh, because there's so much heat potential in this. You've got plenty. I know some grills I've struggled with trying to achieve a good solid temperature. With this one, uh, you got to back it off to drop it down. Um, I sealed the stack and I'm going to be working on sealing. I tried to seal with the rope the top lid. Not that you have to do any of this. I'm just trying to make the it as efficient a smoker as I can. Uh, but the rope, rope wasn't sticking very well and I didn't want to put it on the, the bottom lip. So I'm actually going to try and do, look at that, see it's already 520. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down because I don't want to burn the seasoning off of my grill. Um, so I was having trouble getting it to stick and I'm going to go ahead and do a, a uh, bead of heat resistant caulk that, that caulk that I have on there to seal this top edge hold the smoke in I also lowered the chimney down so that the smoke can't pass out of the stack until it's already crossed over the meat. Uh, another efficiency adds flavor. Uh, so that's in it in a nutshell. I'll probably make another video once I have the seal that I plan on putting around this lid in place. Um, the other problem with putting the rope in is when it closes down you end up changing the depth of the lip here and the, the lid actually ends up raising off and I don't feel like bending the lid to make it fit again. Um, next video I'll, I'll put on what, how I put that to work and whether or not it does work. I'm kind of experimenting. Um, so that's in a nutshell. Very happy with this smoker so far. And for the price that I paid at Lowe's.